Hello everyone and welcome to another video today. This time we are, as you can see from the title, playing Project Cars 2 with the will. And as you can see from the gameplay, this is pretty much my first sort of day with it. This is actually was on Christmas Day. Um, first time. I am losing a Logitech G920, it's the will that I have. I got it um, on a uh, sale price back on uh, Black Friday. I think it was like £130. You can buy it now for 150 um, with, a, with a shifter, but um, as you can see, these are my sort of my first sort of laps around here. We're using a Janetta G40 Junior around the Silverstone um, short and sort of short. I think it's a national circuit, I believe it is. And we're just going around here, doing our best as possible, and just getting used to it. Um, before this, I, did, I was using a road car because uh, my dad was kind of like wanting to have a go at it when I got the wheel. So it was kind of like, yeah, he went for the go, uh, Mitsubishi Evo, that was on the game, and they were bringing that, was absolutely atrocious to ride, to drive. The road cars in this game are pretty poor. But in the Ginetta, I felt really comfortable, I was getting into things, and this really was a sort of the, the big, the first time where the car was really going well, I was enjoying it, and the wheel experience is so enjoyable. It's, I know a lot of people have wheels for this game, but obviously coming from a pad, is a completely different experience entirely. You can feel a lot more. You can you feel more inside the game. Like you feel like you actually are driving on a physical track, and the feedback that the wheel is giving is great. I know it's not the best wheel on the market in terms of force feedback, but what it was give, what it was making me feel was just it was amazing. And um, that was sort of the, um, I'm just basically this, this content is in days, so this is actually on the on 3rd of December, and it'll cut on later on to sort of the 26th, 27th, to the point where I am sort of around right now. On the 28th, um, this is these now on the Formula C's around Austria, for example, and these are really fun. Formula C's weren't that great on the game, but obviously, I know from the patch they got better and better to drive. Um, so, these were really fun to drive. Just had a little go at these, and yeah, the improvements every single lap you'd improve and just get better and better. The difficult 5.1 that lap, and the next lap would just go faster and faster. And it's just one of those experiences that you just have to learn. I was using relatively short tracks and relatively low powered cars at first because for me that's kind of the best way to get used to it because you know you're not going to get agitated, you're not going to get irritated but if you can't drive it so for me that was the main thing. This car was amazing around here. did have a lot of understeer. I am using default settings so there isn't like I wasn't trying to like feel like I'm saying at this point I was just trying to drive it out of the box and still at this moment in time um, I am using just default setting, you're not, you're not, I haven't changed anything in terms of the actual wheel setup, it's exactly as it is out of the box, I just configured it, so I did. Um, it got a little bit wide there and just knowing where it is, but yeah, um, that was a great run for me. I think it was just really fun, it, you know, it's just one of those things that I just, I can't believe how fun it is, I mean I used to have a wheel for um, the Xbox 360 and um, it was a, on those, on that gate, on that console it used to be mainly the non-force feedback wheels. And they were absolutely horrible to drive, and I didn't really put a lot of effort into being good at those because I just couldn't do it because you couldn't really feel much, and that's why you'd always like lose control of the car. And on Xbox 360, you used to have like F1 and Forza. They're like the only two like kind of arcade, semi-arcade games you had, and they used to lose the rear end there, saving it nicely. But yeah, we're pushing the boundaries here at this point, uh, and uh, that's another thing you can do with the wheel as well. You can save things, save slides easier than you can do with a pad. It's all part of the experience, um, but yeah, this is my this basically was my first day with it, and it was quite it was hard at first. I couldn't even turn a corner, um, and that's because I was in a road car at first. It was just disgusting. I really couldn't get the car going. I, the brake was really stiff on day one as well, and it is a common thing with this wheel. The brake on the G920 is got a rubber block in it, so it means that it's quite stiff, so it stops you from locking up, and it took me a while to get used to it. Um, I thought you could really be nice and light with the brake, but you have to really put the brake down. Um, but currently, as it's um, from at this point, it's kind of loosened up a little bit, and it's kind of got a bit more easier to take the brake with. And it's kind of actually just nice to drive. Actually, I actually do like the roadblock in it because, again, as I said, it stops you from locking up. And particularly on Project Cars 2, it's really good. Uh, have got a set of Corsa, um, but uh, on that game, you really have to put the brake down as hard as possible. And sometimes I would probably feel that. Taking the rubber block out for a set of course it would be better, but then it's less accurate, so it's kind of one of those things. Um, but that was day one with the wheel, and this is now we're moving on to day two, which is actually on Boxing Day. Boxing Day morning, and I jumped back straight onto the wheel, couldn't wait to get back on it again. And getting a little bit wide at time one, but again, I just wanted to get back on it and just try and go as fast as I could and um, see what the improvement was. 
and uh, as the uh, as more time went by, I got more confident with it, and that's one of the things one of the things with this is that it's so rewarding because it just gets much more just enjoyable. And when you start finding more pace and finding more time, it just is a much more enjoyable experience. And I just, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy. I would never go back to a pad again. Absolutely wouldn't. Uh, I just don't need to. It's it's much more fun this way, in my opinion. And uh, I recommend anybody who's looking to get a wheel to get one. Uh, no matter, what, I mean, <clears throat> you really want to be getting not the cheap ones. I mean, I know that they did. They used to do a Thrustmaster 458 Spider wheel. It used to be red, and that is the one, the worst wheel you can get. Don't get that. But I guess something that is pretty good. The Logitech G920. I could do a review it, but review of it. But I'm not that great at making reviews. I'm probably the worst person to people to make a review for. But um, yeah, that wheel for me is really good. It's good quality. It's not the best on the market in terms of force feedback because I think it uses a. It's not a belt driven. I don't believe it's. A, it's not belt driven. A lot of the first muscle wheels are belt driven. I believe this one's. I think it's part belt. If, if I if I can just, if, just thinking about it, it's like I don't know. Um, I have to do my research. I think it, from what I remember of my research, I think it's part belt. Um, so it's not as good as the Fresh Master with the force feedback, but the quality of the product is great, honestly, um, and it's really comfortable to, write, to race with. The one I problem I do get is the the, the seat. It does move back a lot uh, when I am racing, uh, but not not a lot, a lot. But it does move back a lot, and it <clears throat> it moves back when I break. That could be, that's because of my stiff brake uh, pedal, but uh, it is capable. I can cope with it. It's not too bad. I'm quite light as a person, so I don't really move back as much. Um, so it's kind of one of those things. It's fine. But uh, here we're on day two of running, as I said, and uh, we're in the genesis once again. Try to put in some good um, pace here. It's 105.9, and pace was actually was better on day two, much better. Um, as we took in the Formula C, we were in faster. I think we did a 53.3 around Austria. I am sort of rumbling on a little bit here, um, but. I was at a 3.3 in the, in the uh, Formula C. Around here, I was just really getting into the groove around here. Car felt amazing to drive. I was starting to really just get, understand. But what, again, I uh, repeat, is that there's a lot of understeer I'm getting. But I'm sure there's a lot of things I can change. If you've got any suggestions, if you if you are if you are a G920 owner, leave some comments in the uh, comment section below to see. Just tell them, just to, like, sort of see what I'm doing wrong. And actually, any person who's got a wheel, just... Leave some comments down below if uh, if any hints, because I'm I do need some, I need a couple of hints and tips I think. Um, just leave some hints down in the comments in the um, and some help down in the comment section. Uh, no matter if you're well, any will either. But for me, I'm really happy with the progress that I've been making. I've really enjoyed it so far. And um, I started to get to the point where these cars were getting too easy for me. I was starting to wanting to change myself a little bit, and I started making the gains up. And you know. It, you can do short tracks all day long, but it's about these longer circuits like Silverstone Grand Prix, Light Another Ring Grand Prix, those sort of longer races, they're kind of longer tracks, they're kind of one of those things that it helps you get better over the wheel because there's a lot more corners and you have to be right on your game and you be super perfect at it. So that's what I've been do did after this. But for an opening sort of like test with it, just doing short tracks and cars that are of quite low power. It just really got me into the groove of things, and uh, I was just fully happy. And um, you can see the tyre wear as well has come, um, come down a lot, and that's because we're just doing a lot of laps around the circuit. But uh, this corner here was a struggle for me a lot of times in second gear, just getting lots of understeer, heaps of it. Obviously, it doesn't help with the tyres. But now coming to the line, and it was again supreme to drive. I just keep going round and round. I actually enjoyed riding this Genetta a lot. It was quite fun. And drive this car, um, and it was just—it was fun. I said I can't—I I can't stop repeating. This is what wheels do. They're just really fun to drive with. Um, you feel right in it. You feel, really, you feel right in the game. You can feel everything. And because you can, when I got this wheel for the first time, going into it, I was thinking this is going to be really hard, isn't it? But part of me sort of knew it wouldn't be as hard as it was on the 360 with um, the wheel because. Obviously, this has got force feedback, so I, f I felt that I could feel a lot more, and that it actually would be probably reasonably not easier, but you know, drivable in comparison. And uh, and uh, as so far, I've been going on every single day with the wheel, and just going ham with it, and just doing a lot of stuff. Um, I haven't been able to rescue AI. I've done a little bit. I've done a couple of online races with um, one of my mates, Evie Burnout, 
um, just to get some running against him and get some comparisons. You'll see a little bit of gameplay of that later on in the video. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I haven't done any career mode yet. That is my next step, is probably to start racing against the AI in career mode, I would say, um, because that's going to be the next step in terms of trying, in terms of being able to be consistent. Uh, the consistency is coming, um, as you can see, this is actually the burnout, um, this is actually the online session with um, EVR burnout in the radical. This was, this is a step up now, This I, mean, I didn't realise how much a step up it would be, but this was a step right up, and um, this round Wellington was amazing um, to drive, it was so fun to drive, I was making lots of mistakes though as well, but my god, you, it just, it was so fun, it was awesome around the circuit to drive. I drove it around the ring as well, and um, that was fun too. This car is just such a fun car to drive, and it can give you a lot of confidence as well, but you can't, it will bite you. You can't engine brake, and you can't brake in turn with this car. If you do that, you will you will slide off the circuit, but that's something you have to learn, and that's a lot of things you learn with the, with the wheels. There's a, there's a lot of things you just learn, um, and it's, the cars are all different to drive in that sense. The cars behave differently, and that's what's really good. And I'm starting to get the feeling of how good Project Cars 2 really is. Uh, that is what I'm getting. You, I really now understand how good this game really is. On the pad, I knew it was a good game, but now I can. I'm getting the sense that it's as. I now know how good it is. That is the thing, and it's just uh, it's it's super fun. I lose the rear end there, and you see this making su a couple of mistakes. A couple of mistakes here and there. And here as well, we do the same, we turn a little bit early and we get a little bit too feisty on the power and we lose the rear end. So you can see this a small little um, errors being made here uh, in a much more higher powered car. So coming to the end here and I was really just trying to get an improvement in it because I felt um, I could actually go much faster and I knew there was a lot of that time in it. So in this lap here, we hit the apex nicely that turn two in second gear, not running it too wide. We're going down the hill here, and this is really fun. You can really feel the wheel really fighting you. Um, it gets really stiff at high speed. And you go left, and now this section here, really fun, really hard though. You've got to be careful down the third gear, turn it in. Don't want to be too early, because the game does pick up um, track limits too, a little bit too much in my opinion. And even if you don't gain time, if you lose a lot of time, um, it does, I guess, it gives you, it gives you a warning for, no, for no, real, no real reason. Third gear through there, and then up the hill we go. This corner here is blind, so it's down in, I think it's third gear, and that's really good too. Um, Burnout also uses a wheel, he uses a TMX Pro, and obviously he's had that for a much longer time than me. So I wanted to try and see where, where I sit against him, because I know how good he is on his wheel. Last K now, really difficult. I found I just didn't have confidence through there, um, particularly on the brakes. Uh, I felt if I brake later, I probably would have more speed, but to a line now. This is a 108.320, and then actually in the race itself, I did a 108.1, and I was a second off Burnout's pace. So, to be about second off him on the second day of, te of running, I thought that was really good. Um, progress was really was really being made, and I thought it'd be much more difficult. I thought it'd be like at least two, three seconds of pace, but I'm right there with the guy with um, the guys in the EVR, and that's just lot, lots of confidence um, you can gain from that. In this lap here, I was pushing really hard. Um, I wasn't I was on an improvement, but I just didn't have. I think I overcooked it towards the end of this lap. Again, heading up this hill here. This track is really fun. I like Donington Park a lot. Um, and it made me actually want to go back into the GT4s again. And the Genetic GT4s will be raced in Fora. Um, and I went back in those again. And that's been a really good indicator for me to use to be able to see where I actually am at with the wheel compared to my pad pace. So I've been using the Genetic GT4s again to see where I am at. Um, and progress with that has been good. Oh, you'll see that later on. We're heading to the last cane now. Look at that. I overcook a little bit, but we save it. And that's the beauty about the wheel is that when you have it, when you get it wrong, you can really save it and you can cover that. An 8322, once again, 2000s of our previous best. So a lot of time in that. But again, as I said, moving on, we went to you know, the GT4s. Um, and this for me was good to get back into. Uh, it was for me, and I did. An idea for me was trying to see where I was with the pad. Kind of on the, on, the, on the boxing day, I felt reasonably confident with the wheel again, with the wheel, and I felt, you know what, just go for it and just see what we can do. And this car, I was, I was running stable setup, so I wasn't running any setup in terms of like anything that would be customized, just a normal SMS stable setup that they put preloaded onto the game. I was using it around here, just trying to see what we could do, and 
you can't really compare to the pad time that I did run here. I did, I did a, um, a 10.6 in Tora, and that was with a setup. And obviously, the pad had been had settings on the pad um, to make it better. Um, on this, obviously, I have no settings for the wheel, which is a standard out of the box run with it only being configured. And then I was running no setup, so it's just just a stable setup that SMS preloaded onto it. So that's what I was doing. Now I lost K and again, it was my weakness around here is the brakes around here. And I think that's because the brake pedal isn't, it's quite stiff and I didn't have a lot of confidence in it. But obviously every time it's got more loose. Cost the line here, it's 11.8, it's about 1.2 off our previous best. And considering that if you had actually had, if you, if you put setups on these cars, you can gain around about a second at least. Um, so that's pretty much matching my pad pace. Now 11.7, um, this is actually the next day, so she was yesterday's. Um, or the 27th, if it's actually been uploaded on the 28th. Um, so this was actually, again, was me just pounding around once again, just trying to find some improvement. And again, it just, every day I was getting much better and better and better at it. And that's the thing, it just it is an involving thing. And look at it, you go wide here, and you actually get an extent for that. You don't gain any time, you actually lose time from doing that. So that's one thing the game is really irritating me up, really just sort of just annoying me at the moment. But... In general, I was pushing on as hard as I could. This actually was our last lap going into session, so this actually was our fastest lap we've been so far around here. As we head into turn one, we're taking a second gear. As we um, could have been a little more faster through there, and we're just getting a little bit too. See, look at that understeer we get in there. So I think for me, I was taking a little bit too much speed through there, but I was really getting confident at turn one compared to where I was on the previous day. Heading through here now, the right hand. This is a really difficult corner. Down a second gear. Um, you can use third, but I use second, and you've got to be really slow in. Um, you can't go too fast through there, as we're now ahead up the hill here. And it's just, it is just, it's uphill, and it's great to drive. And now I've done the third for this, actually no, second. You can use third, again, a little bit of understeer through there. And now heading up once again, it's a bit of an elevation change. And then that's second gear once again. A tight apex, you don't want to be running it too wide. And now it's just a drag for the back straight. And then we've got the next cane coming up here. And this is where I was starting to really get some confidence with the last cane. Started breaking much more later than I was. Breaking a little bit later than normal, then second gear, turning it in a little bit earlier. And that was a good way to take it. A little bit of a bunny hop on the lot on the second part of the cane. But across the line here, this actually is our best lap we've done on the wheel around this track. 11.360 in this car. Um, only seven tenths off our pad time. And that shows you just, you know, seven tenths off. If I actually had a setup on that car, and actually had the best pad set, wheel settings possible, um, then I could have easily got, you know, on par with my pace on, on the on the pad. So that's really good work for me. Um, improvements are coming further, and I'm sure with more sweat and more time, it's gonna get better and better for me. You saw earlier that I showed you a bit of a clip of me saving a car um, off the, uh, the, sh the chain there, and you saw the oversteering. You'd never be able to save that with a pad. And to save that on a wheel is just a fun experience, but, Anyway guys, that has been this video, I thought I would um, show off a video of me on the pat on the wheel. Um, there will be some AOR highlights coming out, the last of the um, Season 8 highlights will be coming out very soon on Spa, so watch out for those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, leave a like and subscribe for more recent content on this channel. And yeah, let's continue this journey on the wheel, and I hope you guys um, want to follow me on this journey. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, as I said, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.